Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'm Burning Dog Face, and last time, I completed the main campaign. The good guys got a happy ending, the bad guys got what was coming to them. It was nice all around. But before I call this series finished, I'd like to take a look back into mission mode. I can't help but wonder, we have this separate extra modes here thing, where you have to select mission mode from this separate menu with only one option in it, which makes me wonder if they were meant... if they meant to include other things. Like, I don't know, DLC chapters. So let's see here. Uh, tried it. Tried it. Tried it. Did not try it. Completed it. I don't think I tried that one. Nor that one. Nor that one. I don't quite remember that. Definitely did that one. That one sucked. Uh, that one is nowhere near as much fun as I thought it would be. And I don't think I even understand the main idea of that one, because I found a screen where I couldn't leap off the top. So let's see. Let's start with... Radiation. The facility is filling with radiation. Rush to the main reactor before it's too late. Uh, complete the mission, find all secrets, and complete the mission without using any item. That is not going to happen. Oh, yes. I'm an idiot. Duh. I don't even see what that was I picked up, which is not ideal. I can't leave my ghost, which is, again, not ideal. Oh, don't you do this to me! Oh, I see. Yeah, that's not great. Taking damage over time, because the station is full of radiation! Generation 20. Climb, goddamn you. Go! the items. Fine, we'll just go through here. Ah! Great. I'm dead. Ah. Uh, music has stopped working. I do have her start with these power ups. This is stupid. Right, no air jumping in this one.
Ah, oh, terrible. Gotta be a secret down there. No idea how you get in, mind you, but hey. Enough, die already! Well, that was a dumb choice. I thought I could, you know, blow him away before I, uh, ran into a problem there. It's doing it again. Okay, radiation kind of sucks. I don't even know what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> spread it. Infiltrate the facility to find the new add-on. Spread the shot. Find all ten add-ons. I saw that. Fucking static there. Okay, complete the mission. Find the seeking gun and gather three thousand or more cubes. God damn it. Interesting that the bots don't come by when uh, they're just damaged. Okay, fuck that. Not in love with this room either, to be honest. I need some goddamn power ups. So probably we kill all the dudes in the room. Right? I keep forgetting I don't have double jump. Hit the one I wasn't aiming at. Because I am a Cretan, apparently. I can't get much closer than that without... Did that not magically open the door? It did! Mission accomplished. Your weapon shoots one additional shot. Not gonna lie, this feels exactly like the twin shot one I'd have found just lying around in the other one. Nope. Not going in there. Okay. Let's see how bad this is. Maybe I can handle level two? Get 
Ow. I thought those things dropped the flowers to the ground when you activated them. A little bit longer. I was just about to say that it was interesting that, uh... We didn't hear from, uh... Jacker after that initial communication. You know, because it's mission mode and all. But then up he goes, so... Ah, oh, shit! I didn't even see you. Which I did, and I thought to myself, Is that a... And then I got hit. Which one of these has a spread shot in it? Shot enhancer! Mm. Stop that. Bad robot. Now we're talking. Hang on. I have to hit C here. Spread shot, you're only going to shoot one additional shot, except it... Dinner. These guys didn't show up in the final rush, either. What's up with that? Like, I certainly got the impression that they were, you know, sending everything and the kitchen sink after me. Given that we had everything from those heavy missile drones with the grenade launchers to, uh... to the stupid maids that showed up at alarm level one. Or it says, let's throw Nakas at them. But, uh... They didn't have everything. Sorry, they even had the, uh... Well, now we're talking. They even had those f robot flowers and the hovering platforms. Damn it! Thought I was being clever. Ah! Stupid bees! Usable. Right, there is no map. This looks new. Oh, cool. I noticed this brain above these symbols. I wonder what this means. I wonder if it's one of those things where if you speak the right language, you get the plot telegraphed to you hours in advance. You know, like I understand if you, uh... Actually speak... I'm trying to remember which language it is. Arabic, I think? Yeah, Arabic is about right. The, uh... The scene at the very beginning of Iron Man 1, where, uh... You know, they're holding Tony Stark hostage and filming the, uh... What appears to be the, uh... Hostage announcement video. If you actually speak Arabic, you can hear him just straight up say, uh... You know, the whole spiel, you did not tell us our target was Tony Stark, our price has gone up. But he also uses, uh... The name of Jeff Bridges' character, who I... Whose name I actually can't remember, because it's been a long time since I've seen Iron Man 1. But, uh, I just find it very funny that if you speak the right language, the movie tells you 
that so-and-so is a bad guy before you've actually seen him. Next time I handle the alarm. Actually, no, that sounds very complicated and frustrating. Oh, right, no double jump shit. Nope, none of you. Look at all this junk that's grown up over here. Ah, ah, ah. Was I not meant to? Done. You're free to go. Someone tell these guys that. The only other examples I can think of off the top of my head are, uh, not really relevant to the point I was making, in that... Let me see. Uh, one of them was, uh... Apparently the, uh, Steve Carey... Uh, sorry, Steve Carell, uh, Get Smart movie. Featured some very inappropriate language from the henchmen, if you speak Russian. Language that would have changed the rating if it had been English. And, uh. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yes, it was Crisis, where they actually made that into a feature. Uh. Without going into the whole storyline, uh. The thing with Crisis is that you're facing off against the North Koreans. And, uh. And on the hardest difficulty level, and only the hardest difficulty level, the enemies actually speak just Korean. You know, so all the little context cues you get in a shooter just aren't there unless you speak Korean. Well, I like that. Right? Just here. It's not going to change anything. That is. Right, the room full of bees. Definitely been there before. Death to you. a choice, if that's what you mean. Ah! Now, what were you protecting up there? Nothing. I'm going crazy. Probably a visual bug. You'd be screwed right now if I wasn't as good as I am. I'm not pleased with all the damage I took just there. You're clear. Am I? Oh. Saw that bullet at the last second. Going back over the footage, it's got to look sometimes like I have really, really bad aim. But in this game, a lot of the time, I'm just firing kind of blindly in the general direction of an area, while focusing my attention on Ghost herself so I can dodge incoming projectiles.
Oh, no, that's right, that's just the starting room. That initial swarm, not this uh, alarm. Oh Christ! I appear to have healed all the way to full. Ah, well, I am an idiot. Oh no, it was in the radiation one where I had the twenties. Oh well. Do this bit by bit. Okay, I now understand the benefit of spread shot. That's not working. Trying a different subroutine. I take back my initial uh doubt. Ugh. Too many goddamn projectiles. This is what happens when I look away. No! Fuck! I don't like those ones at all. Ones that just fire randomly. Let me get out of healing items. Yeah, I didn't much like that uh, one bit. Hmm. Nope. Still not great. Uh, there's the timer, though, so I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you on the next episode as we continue uh, exploring the spread shot mode, and hopefully I limp to the finish line without getting myself killed over these last uh, one, two, three uh, uh, power ups I need to collect. Later. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs>